Real estate agents ask me all the time, how do I break into the luxury market? How did you break into the luxury market? So today I'm going to tell you exactly how I broke into the luxury market. You're going to come on with me with a tour of a property, $4 million home. We're showing it to a buyer today and I'll tell you two tips to break into the luxury market right now, today. So that's what you want to do, right? You want to do it now. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. So we're here at the property, $4 million listing. We're gonna show it, look at that house. We've got some contractors here from the buyer. Wanna check out some things, but we will go into tip number one when we get inside. Okay, tip number one, understanding the products, the language and the locations of where rich people are associated with. And rich people, you gotta remember, is the client that is going to be purchasing luxury homes, right? So first of all, you can't be scared of rich people or the word rich, it just is what it is, right? People that have um, a high net worth or have high salaries are going to be your clients if you wanna get into the, the luxury market. So you have to really be able to talk their language, meaning do you understand the restaurants that they visit? You may not have been there. And if you can, I would go. The stores, let's just give an example, like the Louis Vuitton store, like go in the store, touch the products, go to the dealership, test drive the cars, like understand the environment so that when you get put in that place, you're not afraid or you don't feel like you're unworthy um, of that position. Like everyone can do it. Anyone can do it. You can sell this home. You could sell a luxury home in your neighborhood, no matter the price point, right? It's just understanding it and being comfortable in that environment. Okay. Then tip number two, now you have to meet people, meet rich people. How do you do that? Well, there's a couple of two ways. There's one where you could have grown up already around a community that has wealthy people and now you just need to build those relationships and them to trust you in real estate. Um, that is not me. Number two is my lifestyle where you have not grown up with this type of environment or these type of people around you. So now you have to meet them and you have to understand how you're gonna meet them, which is by doing the first thing first. So understanding the product, the language and the locations, including neighborhoods especially. Um, but now, okay, so the way I met this client, for instance, we'll use this example, is the mortgage lender that I work with lives in this same neighborhood. And I built a good relationship. I built a good rapport with him, showed him that I'm a true professional. He's referred me some smaller deals before, uh, knocked those out of the park. And then one day I called him and said, hey, I have this big goal, $75 million goal was for sales volume that me and my team had. I'll link that video in here. But number two is when I called him, I said, hey, I wanna sell some luxury houses. If you know anyone, Scott, I was really, because I had such a good rapport with him, I could be that blunt, right? I could be that honest with him and say, hey, if you know anyone who's in like the luxury space, who's interested in selling, can you get me in contact with them? Literally two days later, he calls me, said, hey, I've got a referral for you. It's this house, check it out, came here. This is the house, big, big story. Um, about selling this property that I'll go into in a separate video, but being able to rapidly get into the luxury market really takes those two things, right? Number one, product, language, and location. Get knowledgeable on that. And then number two, start building relationships and understanding where to find those people. Once you have the information, you can talk the talk, you meet them, you tell them you focus on luxury, even if you haven't closed the deal yet, if that is your focus, that is a true statement, right? I focus on luxury. When you say that to a luxury client, they appreciate it and now they expect you to be knowledgeable when you get into that position. So follow those two tips, check out this property, vlog number two coming soon. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe.